What's up guys? It's me again, Krisha, and I'm already a fourth year architecture student. For today's video is all about the recommended architecture laptops in 2021. If you're interested guys, just keep on watching. Okay, so sa mga nanonood sa inyo dyan, possible na kayo ay isa upcoming first year architecture student. It's either you're already taking architecture and balak mong bumili ng bagong laptop kasi sumasabog na yung laptop mo sa init. At hindi niya kayo nakaya mga software na mabibigyan. Bago kayo bumili guys, make sure nyo na talagang kakayanin ng laptop nyo yung mga kailangan software pang archi. Kasi ang usual talaga nakakapagpainit ng laptop is yung rendering. Yung talaga rendering at the same time matagal siya. At the same time guys, yung kahit gaano kalaki yung 3D model na i-import nyo is kakayanin siya ng laptop nyo. Render rin ng laptop nyo. Kasi usually yung ibang laptops is based on some of my friends' experience or classmates' experience. Um, kapag masyado ng malaki yung model, yung 3D model na gawa, na gawa nila and import na siya for rendering, hindi siya kinakaya. Hindi pumapasok yung model kasi nga hindi kaya ng laptop. Mababa. So guys, unahan ko lang kayo. Wala akong masyadong alam sa tech as in. So nag-survey-survey na lang din ako and research ng konti para meron ako makontent. So suggest ko lang guys is kapag bibili kayo ng laptop, Mahirap man, pero piliin nyo na yung mahal. Like, as in yung mahal. Kasi, wag na kayong pipili ng mura. Or, isipin nyo parang, ito na lang mura. Mga pwede naman to. Kaya naman daw. Wag. <laughs> kasi, ah, uh, pasasalamatan nyo rin yung sarili nyo guys someday kapag pinili nyo yung mas mahal. Kasi, hanggat maaari, di ba, pang matagalan. Wow! Oh my gosh! Hanggat maaari, di ba, guys, pang matagalan na. So, ayaw naman nating bumili ng doble pang laptop dahil hindi kinaya ng unang laptop na binili natin kagaya na nangyayari sa akin ngayon. Okay, so guys, for the first laptop I'm going to recommend is MSI GE72 Apache Pro 242. Key features of this laptop is it has 2.7 GHz Intel Core, 16 GB of 1600 MHz RAM, the 17.3 inches widescreen, and it features a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and a full HD 1920 by 1080. Okay, guys, so it is actually a gaming laptop. And bang pinaka recommended talaga ng mga prof namin or ng mga iba pang architects or architecture students is a gaming laptop. So, so MSI G72 Apache Pro 242 is so far the best laptop for architecture talaga. Since it is a gaming laptop, it has great graphics and very powerful in GPU niya. Mabili siya gamitin, walang problema, and pwedeng-pwede ka mag-multitask without even um, sacrificing the image quality. G the GPU is powerful and at the same time, it has a dual cooling system which is very important kasi sobrang humiinit talaga ang laptop kapag ginagamit kapag ginagamit na yung mga softwares natin, like yung AutoCAD, SketchUp, especially the Lumion, which is the Lumion is for rendering. So, if you want I'm going to make a video about the softwares you'll need for architecture, so para ma-ready na rin kayo. Next recommended laptop ko, guys, is yung Asus ROG Strix G. Tama ba? Pagkakapronounce ko, oh my gosh. It is worth $1,570. Standing screen display size is 15.6 inches. Max screen resolution 1,120 by 1,080 pixels. Um, processor is 8032. Installed RAM is 16GB. Memory speed 2,666MHz. Hard drive 1TB. Ibig pong sabihin nito is pwede po siya mag-multitask. And so, kailangan-kailangan natin yun guys. Architecture ang um, makapag-multitask ang laptop para mabilis tayo matapos ng plate kasi... Matagal lang gawing ang plate, tapos hindi ka pa makapag-multitask sa laptop mo. So, mas talo ka magtatagal na madudoble ang oras mo. So, another thing po guys is faster rendering po siya. Which is a very good thing po guys. In, kasi ang pagre-render po is inaabot po siya talaga ng ilang minuto. <laughs> And syempre guys, hindi lang isang side ang i-render mo. So, parang bawat side is nagtitake ka ng ilang minuto. Eventually, abot ka ng oras doon kasi hindi lang naman isang side ang gusto makuhaan. Then, yung interior din, yung bawat side ng exterior. So, yeah. 
para sa mga mag nagbabalak mag-RG dyan and at the same time is gamer din. So, magugustuhan nyo to kasi it has RGB lighting. So, mayroon siyang pa-ilaw effects. Guys, wag lang kayong bibili dahil umiilaw. Porket umiilaw yung laptop, wag. So, another thing po guys na medyo negative side na itong laptop to is wala po siyang webcam. So, although, wala naman na masyadong gumagamit sa atin ng webcam. So, yeah, kayo bahala. Depende sa inyo kung gusto nyo siya. Next laptop po natin guys is yung Microsoft Surface Book. So it has 32 gigabytes of installed RAM, 15 inch pixel sense display, 3240 by 2160 resolution. It is the best Surface Book released so far. And ang kinaganda po na laptop to guys is hindi lang siya basta laptop, pwede rin siya maging tablet kasi natitiklop po siya. Ang ganda po nito is like kung tinatamad mo kayong gumawa ng nakaupo or what or nag sketch kayo ng building design nyo or residential design nyo. Pwede siya gawin na nakahiga or nakasundal man kayo sa kung saan man lugar. Kasi, hindi niya siya kailangan ipatong pa sa kung saan dahil laptop siya. Pwede siya hawakan na. Which is very portable din talaga. Okay, so, for the next recommended laptop po guys is yung Dell Inspiron. Display size 15 inches. And then yung naka-install na RAM sa kanya is 8GB pero upgradable naman siya. Processor is Core 15. While yung SSD niya guys is 256GB. So itong laptop to dog guys is again a gaming laptop. Kasi mas recommended talaga mga gaming laptops. Starting price na po is $1,499. So this is also a good laptop. No issues. Um, great rendering capabilities. It has great graphics since it is a also a gaming laptop. And at the same time, kaya niya rin po magsabay-sabay, mag-multitask without sacrificing the image quality again. Next recommended laptop is Lenovo Yoga C640. So the starting price here is $1,300. Processor is 10th generation Intel Core operating system Windows 10 Home 64. It has integrated Intel UHD graphics, memory of 16GB, storage is 512GB, display size is 13.3 inches. So itong Lenovo Yoga C640 guys is a quality laptop. Mahaba expansion ng battery life niya. Has boot up and shut down. Very responsive po siya guys. Small power adapter. Mas malaki lang ng konti sa charger ng cellphone. Itong laptop to guys is mga residential models lang siya. Hindi niya masyadong kaya yung mga malalaking models. Kinaganda na itong laptop to guys is para din siyang tablet which is very lightweight lalo na kung magpa-face to face na. Malapit na mag-face to face. Um, hindi may iwasan na dadalhin yung laptop niyo sa school. So, mas maganda na lightweight yung laptop niyo kaysa yung mga ibang laptops na mamibigat. Yung mga MSI which is malaking laptop talaga siya. So, if ever guys na tumitingin na kayo ng laptop niyo baka mag-end up kayo sa laptop na to which is wag naman sana Hindi kaya rin ng budget or sobrang mahal talaga ng mga laptop kasi money talaga guys. Kailangan talaga sa course natin yan. Ito pong akin is Lenovo IdeaPad L340. Hindi, hindi ko siya may recommend So, huwag nyo siyang bibili porket wala na kayo makitang ibang laptop. Baka kasi ito yung madampot yung laptop. So, wag Ito lang personal experience ko guys kasi hindi nyo kaya mag-multitask. Yung rendering niya po is super bagal talaga. Like, nanodoble yung oras. Ito po yung shop na rin-recommend sa akin ng kaklasiko. Which is yung Justin's Laptop. So, ang lalagay ko na po yung link dyan sa baba. Mga quality laptops po, legit seller po guys, eh, pero mura po yung prices. Doon niya po binili, doon po binili na kaklase ko yung laptop niya. So, pinanong ko naman siya, okay naman, everything, no issues. So, that's all guys for today's video. Um, I hope natulungan ko kayo. If ever may questions mo kayo guys, just comment down below. And please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye-bye!